ever wondered why some men seem to navigate life with ease, while others seem to constantly struggle? Could the key to their fluid journey be hidden in the ancient wisdom of Stoicism? Let's guide you into a deep dive into the world of Stoicism, a philosophy that emerged from the Hellenistic period around 300 BC. It was founded by Zeno of Sidium and later developed by prominent philosophers like Epictetus, Seneca, and the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Stoicism is an enduring philosophy, having survived and thrived for over 2,000 years. Its influence has seeped into various aspects of our modern society, including psychology, politics, and even personal development theories. From cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, to the tenets of leading a minimalist traces of Stoicism can be found everywhere in our modern discourse. At its heart, Stoicism teaches us to accept and embrace life's challenges, cultivate self-discipline, and savor the present moment. It encourages us to adopt an approach towards life that prizes rationality and virtue, leading to transformative effects on our lives. In this video, we'll unearth 10 powerful lessons from Stoicism that many men discover too late. We'll delve into the beauty of embracing life's fragility, the growth that comes from adversity, the power of self-discipline and gratitude, and the importance of authentic relationships. We'll discuss the necessity of a strong work ethic, the practice of mindfulness, the significance of focusing on the present, and the rewards of living authentically. So, ready to explore lessons that aren't just philosophical musings, but practical instructions for living a better life. Stay tuned as we delve into these 10 transformative lessons. Life is fleeting, unpredictable, and precious, a delicate butterfly fluttering on the breeze. This is our first lesson. Each sunrise brings with it a new day, a new canvas of 24 hours, waiting to be painted with our actions, experiences, and emotions. How we choose to wield our brush across this canvas is entirely up to us. But we must always remember, each day is not a guarantee, it's a golden gift. The Stoics, in their wisdom, understood this profound truth. They were intimately aware of the fragility of life, how it can be extinguished like a candle in wind. The Stoics saw life and death as two sides of the same coin. They viewed life as a fleeting moment against the backdrop of eternity, a moment to be savored and not wasted. They knew that each heartbeat, each breath we take is a precious gem reflecting the fragile beauty of existence. They saw an end not as a tragic event, but a natural part of life's cycle. To them, every second mattered. Every tick of the clock was a call to be fully present, to seize the moment before it slips away. This perspective allowed the Stoics to live with intention. They didn't allow themselves to be shackled by the past or paralyzed by the uncertainty of the future. Instead, they found freedom in present, in the here and now. They drank deeply from the cup of life, appreciating the beauty that surrounded them, the simple pleasures that sprinkled each day. They never took anything for granted, not even the most mundane moments. As we navigate through life, let us remember their wisdom. Let us understand that every breath we take is a priceless gift, a reminder of life's fragility and beauty. Let us strive to live as the Stoics did, cherishing every moment and taking nothing for granted. For in doing, we can learn to truly appreciate the delicate butterfly that is life. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's lesson number two. This age-old adage still rings true today. Have you ever really paused to ponder why? It's because adversity, although often met with a frown, is one of life's most potent tutors. Picture a blacksmith's forge where raw iron is not just hammered, but heated, molded, and eventually transformed into something useful, something strong. However, embracing adversity is not an instinct that comes naturally to many of us. It is an art that requires practice, patience, perspective, principles that sit at the core of Stoicism. The Stoics, a group of ancient philosophers, approached adversity with a lens of objectivity. They believe that hardships are not inherently good or bad. They are simply tests of our character and resolve. These challenges are a chance to exercise discipline and wisdom, core virtues in the Stoic philosophy. When life hurls a curveball at you, don't instinctively duck. Stand firm, face it head on, analyze it, learn from it. Stoicism advises us to see every challenge as an opportunity growth for self-improvement. Remember, it's the unyielding oak tree that weathers the storm because its roots deep. 
Likewise, the pressure that transforms coal into a diamond also shapes us into stronger, more resilient versions of ourselves. So, the next time you find adversity knocking on your door, embrace it like an old friend. Welcome it as an opportunity to practice your stoic strategies, to test your resolve to grow stronger and wiser. Because remember, every challenge you face is not an obstacle, but an opportunity to grow. Self-discipline, the cornerstone for achieving greatness. Lesson number three. Today we delve into the very core of personal evolution, the battleground where dreams are transformed into reality. Self-discipline, an unspoken yet mighty force, fuels our journey forward, propelling us relentlessly towards the pinnacle of our potential, the remarkable ability to withstand the allure of temporary pleasure in exchange for the sweet taste of long-term triumph. It's an unyielding allegiance to our ideals, a steadfastness that persists even in the face of daunting challenges and seemingly elusive rewards. Self-discipline is akin to a muscle, a power that grows stronger with each challenge it faces. Just as a skilled and well-conditioned athlete can surpass their competitors, an individual fortified with the strength of self-discipline can surmount barriers that would halt others dead in their tracks. This is not about suppression or denial, but rather about making deliberate, informed choices that resonate deeply with our authentic selves and our innermost aspirations. What's even more powerful about self-discipline is that it's a skill, not inherent trait. It can be honed and cultivated. Like a seed that with the right conditions can grow into a mighty tree, self-discipline can be nurtured through consistent practice, patience, and perseverance. It begins with simple actions like setting a routine, exercising regularly, or maintaining a balanced diet. As you continue to practice these habits over time, build your self-discipline muscle, making you stronger and more resilient in facing life's challenges. In the realm of personal and professional life, self-discipline plays a seminal role. It is the driving force that pushes us to stay focused on our goals. Whether they are career advancements, personal development, or lifestyle changes, with self-discipline, we can consistently put in the effort required, even on days we lack motivation. It lets us conquer procrastination, manage time effectively, and maintain a positive attitude, forming the bedrock of our path to success. But let's not forget, self-discipline isn't a destination. It's a journey, a path paved with continuous growth, enhancement, and learning. It all commences with that initial stride. Remember, Discipline is the mighty bridge that connects dreams to reality. Gratitude, the secret ingredient to a blissful existence. That's lesson four. Gratitude is not merely an emotion, an invaluable tool, a potent practice that can significantly alter our worldview and metamorphose our lives. It's fundamentally about cherishing and valuing what we already possess, rather than lingering on what we lack. It's about acknowledging the goodness in our lives and sincere thanks for it. Gratitude transcends the physical, the material possessions we often get wrapped up. It's about valuing the uncomplicated pleasures, the individuals who enrich our lives, the windows of opportunity that open for us, and yes, even the trials that push us to evolve and develop. Gratitude is about discovering delight in the mundane and commemorating the quotidian. But what does the practice of gratitude do for us? Its benefits are far-reaching and profound. Not only does it have a significant impact on our mental health and overall happiness, but it also aids us in cultivating a positive mindset. It's a strategy to reduce stress and our overall well-being. The practice of gratitude enables us to shift our focus from the negatives to the positives, fostering a more optimistic view of life. This simple yet potent practice can ultimately transform our perspective on life. When we start appreciating the good in our lives and make it a habit to count our blessings, we begin to realize that we have more than we think. Because in the resonating words of an old saying, gratitude turns what we have into enough. So let's commence the journey of practicing gratitude and revel in the transformation it brings. Change, the single unrelenting constant in life. Lesson number five. You see, life is much like a river. It's ceaseless, ever-flowing, and incessantly altering its course. Just as the water is never the same from one moment to the next, our life's landscape fluctuates too. Change is inescapable, 
a fundamental part of our existence. It's not something we should dread, but instead something we should welcome. Perhaps you're pondering, why would I embrace something so uncertain, so unpredictable? Let's delve deeper. From the perspective of Stoic philosophy, change is the embodiment of impermanence, a concept central to their teachings. Stoics believe that accepting the impermanence of all things, embracing the fleeting nature of life, is the key to tranquility and happiness. Life, they taught, is like the ebb and flow of the tides, constantly moving, constantly changing. Here's the crux. Change is the spark that ignites growth. It's through change that we evolve, adapt, and learn. It's through change that we discover new potentials and opportunities. Instead of struggling against the current, let's learn to swim with it. Let's learn to adapt and adjust, to be flexible and open-minded. Accepting and embracing change can lead us to personal growth and transformation. It allows us to let go of what was and open our hearts to what could be. It's not an enemy, but a friend that gently guides us towards self-improvement and personal evolution. As the great scientist Albert Einstein once said, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. By welcoming change and the impermanence it represents, we not only become more intelligent, but also in the true essence of Stoicism, we become more at peace with ourselves and the world around us. Relationships, the quintessential essence of existence. This forms the crux of our sixth lesson. When we look through the kaleidoscope of life, relationships emerge as a vibrant pattern that truly enriches and enhances our lives. These bonds, whether they are tied to our family, dear friends, or romantic partners, serve as the emotional scaffolding that offers us support, shared joy, and a deep-seated sense of belonging. Each relationship is a mirror, reflecting not just our individuality, but also our values, our priorities, and the essence of who we truly are. However, relationships are not built on a one-way street. They are not just about receiving, are about giving, understanding, forgiving, and above all, loving. They're about standing firm in the storm of someone's darkest hour and dancing with them under the sunshine of their brightest moments. They're about growing together, blooming like two flowers in a shared garden, nurturing each other, learning from one another, and becoming better versions of ourselves. Turning to ancient Stoic wisdom, we learn that friendship and love are not just about personal gain or pleasure, but about virtue and goodness. The Stoics believed in the power of relationships to enhance our lives, to make us more virtuous, and to teach us about the beauty of existence. Stoicism teaches us that in nurturing relationships, we are nurturing our own inner virtues and enhancing the quality of our lives. Prioritizing relationships means investing our most valuable assets, time and energy, into fostering, building, and maintaining these meaningful connections. It's about understanding the immeasurable value of vulnerability, the healing power of empathy, and the transformative magic of unconditional love. Because at the end of the day, our relationships are the precious threads that weave the rich tapestry of our lives. So remember, possessions may come and go, just like the changing tides, but relationships, they can last a lifetime, outliving even the grandest of sandcastles. In the final analysis, it's not what we have in life that defines us, but we have in our life that truly matters. Because relationships are not just the heart of our lives, they are the heartbeat, the rhythm, and the melody that makes the dance of life worthwhile. Hard work, the foundation of success. Lesson number seven. There's a reason why the Stoics place such astounding emphasis on a robust work ethic. For them, it was far more than a mere concept. It was a philosophy of life. They understood that the work ethic is the engine that propels us forward on the journey towards our objectives, towards making a perceptible difference in the world. The Stoics were acutely aware that success isn't a luxury served to us on a silver platter. It's a prize earned through rivers of sweat, unyielding determination, and undeniably strenuous hard work. When we talk about a strong work ethic, we speak of more than just clocking in hours of work. The concept is deeply rooted. It's about an unwavering commitment, about having the sheer grit not to abandon ship when the seas get rough. 
A strong work ethic is about taking absolute responsibility for our actions and being clear in our understanding that our accomplishments are the result of our relentless efforts. It's about an undying zeal for excellence in every task we undertake, not for the pursuit of recognition or reward, but simply because it's the morally right and principled thing to do. Perseverance and commitment hold a monumental role in the process of achieving success. They are like the backbone, providing the necessary support and strength in this journey of achieving greatness. Stoics believed that nothing worthwhile comes easy, and hence understood that there are no shortcuts to any destination worth reaching. It's a path paved with hard work, resilience, and an unwavering will to succeed. Mindfulness, the gateway to serenity. This is our eighth lesson. Mindfulness is more than just being present. It's about cultivating an acute awareness of our surroundings, our feelings, our thoughts. It's about cherishing every moment, deeply embedding ourselves into the present, the here and now. It's about relishing the tantalizing bitterness of your morning coffee, the silky feel of the wind against your skin, the symphony of the city as it shakes off its slumber. When we practice mindfulness, we rekindle our connection with our senses and become avid spectators of our own lives. This isn't restricted to just physical presence, but extends to mental emotional presence as well. We gain insight into our thought patterns, we acknowledge our emotions, we identify our reflex responses, we become familiar with our behavioral patterns and habits. With mindfulness, we can practice Stoic meditation, a powerful technique that encourages us to perceive our thoughts and emotions from a detached perspective, thereby helping us to cultivate equanimity and resilience in the face of hardships. Mindfulness isn't just an abstract concept, it has tangible benefits. It is a stress buster, enhances our focus and boosts our overall wellness. Perhaps most importantly, it has profound implications for mental health. It helps us diffuse anxieties, combat depression, and even manage symptoms of PTSD. It enables us to more effectively process our emotions, contributing to better emotional regulation, self-awareness, and even empathy towards others. And the cherry on mindfulness is a skill within everyone's reach. We can all begin to hone it by just dedicating a few minutes every day to just being, to observing, to breathing. Your mind is a powerful tool what you think you become. With mindfulness, you have the power to shape that thought process. The present, the ineffable moment of now, lesson number nine. All too often, our lives are shrouded in the obscurity of the past and haunted by the phantoms of the future. We ruminate over the errors of yesterday and worry about the uncertainties of tomorrow. In our preoccupation with what has been and what might be, we tend to overlook the potency of the present the singular slice of time over which we wield true influence. The teachings of the Stoics come to the fore here, shedding much needed light on this aspect of existence. They remind us that the essence of life is in the here and now. It is in this very moment that we inhale and exhale, perceive our surroundings, generate thoughts, and take actions. The past is nothing more than a collection of, and the future is purely a projection of our anticipations and fears. Our ability to influence, to shape our lives, is rooted firmly in the present moment. By honing in on the present, we can develop a habit of mindfulness, which in turn enables us to make more deliberate decisions. Such concentrated awareness unveils the true nature of things, allowing us to revel in the sheer beauty of existence. It also lends us the clarity to focus our energy not on the unchangeable past or the yet-to-be-unfolded future, but on the ever-unfolding present. Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, believed that time is like a river constantly flowing and never the same at any two points. Grasping this concept, we can understand the importance of seizing the present moment. Ignoring the past and future helps us to navigate the river of time more effectively focusing our energies on where we are now, not where we've been or where we might be. So let's abandon our futile efforts to alter the past or predict the future and instead extend our arms to wholeheartedly embrace the present. Let's live each moment to its fullest. It is in these moments that life truly happens. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today, the ever-present now is a precious gift. Authenticity, the audacity, to embrace your uniqueness, 
This, our concluding discourse, revolves around this concept. In our day-to-day -day lives, how often do we catch ourselves putting on a persona that doesn't exactly mirror our true selves? Living authentically isn't just about shedding these fabricated shells, it's about wholeheartedly accepting our authentic selves. But what does it truly mean to live authentically? Ancient Stoic philosophers had a profound understanding of this concept. They viewed authenticity as living accordance with nature, our own nature that is. They believed that each one of us has a unique set of strengths, weaknesses, passions, and values. And to live authentically is to accept and live by these intrinsic characteristics. It's about having the valor to uphold your beliefs, even when they're contrary to the popular opinion. It's about voicing your emotions and thoughts candidly without the dread of being judged. Living isn't about achieving perfection. It's about being real, being you. It's about not succumbing to societal or trying to squeeze into someone else's preconceived mold. You're here to fully embody and celebrate your unique self in all its splendor and individuality. When you choose to live authentically, you pave the way to a life where you're in a harmonious relationship with yourself. This is when you truly begin to experience life in its entirety. It might not be the easiest path to tread on, but it's undoubtedly the most rewarding. It leads you to the utmost level of contentment and happiness. Remember, living authentically is about aligning with your true nature and acting in accordance with it. If something doesn't resonate with your heart, it's to detach yourself from it. In the grand scheme, authenticity is about living a life that's true to you and in harmony with your nature. So above all, honor your truth, for that's what makes you you. So in conclusion, let's revisit the 10 lessons most men often discover when it's too late. These invaluable lessons, extracted from the well of Stoic wisdom, serve as beacons guiding us towards a rewarding and fulfilling life. Firstly, they teach us to embrace life's fragility, a lesson that humbles us and reminds us of the transient nature of our existence. Secondly, they reveal the transformative power of adversity and encouragement to approach difficulties as opportunities for growth. Thirdly, they emphasize the bedrock of self-discipline, a principle essential for character building and personal development. Moreover, they call us to foster a heart gratitude, a mindset that allows us to appreciate every blessing, big or small. Equally important is the attitude of accepting change, a lesson that equips us to navigate the unpredictable currents of life. These teachings further underline the importance of nurturing our relationships, a crucial aspect that contributes significantly to our overall happiness and well-being. They also stress on the development of robust work ethic, an attribute that paves the way to success and accomplishment. In addition, they advise us to practice mindfulness, a technique that helps us to live in the moment and relinquish our worries about the or the future. And above all, they advocate for us to live authentically, a lesson that encourages us to be true to ourselves and our values. These teachings are not just mere lessons, but also guideposts for living a life with purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. As we step into the future, let's carry these timeless lessons with us. Let's to learn them before it's too late and integrate them into our daily lives. Bear in mind, the wisdom of the ages is always within your grasp. Utilize it wisely and live a life that is not just worth living, but also worth remembering. In the context of the modern world, these stoic lessons offer critical guidance, enabling us to lead a balanced life amidst the noise and distractions of the digital age.